coming to the bottom of your mat, reach out into tabletop, sitting into the toes, curling the toes under for child's pose. Reaching long with the arms. Take a deep inhale, opening up the back and exhale. Inhaling and exhaling. Taking time to settle yourself. Find some calm before the start of your practice this morning. With each inhale, feeling the rise and fall of the chest. Coming into tabletop. Placing the hands underneath the shoulders, rolling the back out into cat-cow. Inhaling and exhaling. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Drawing the body forward. And exhale, opening up the back. Coming to a neutral spine, sinking the hips over to the right. And then over to the left, looking over the shoulder, finding some movement within the hips, opening gently, going only as far as you feel comfortable, inhaling and exhaling, inhaling. And as we come back into our toes, squeezing back into our first down dog, find your movement, walking through the feet moving through the knees and opening up the chest, spiraling the biceps up to the ceiling, drawing the triceps towards each other, relaxing the head before waving the body forward into plank. From here, drawing the toes out a little bit, taking a deep exhale and we're gonna inhale through that chaturanga as we reach up either into cobra or up dog, opening up the back and the hips as we exhale drawing back into child's pose before reaching back into the toes pressing back up into our plank from here exhaling returning to down dog maybe sinking a little deeper shaking off the head relaxing through the neck and then bending the knees in either jumping or stepping to the front of the mat for half lift before releasing down into your forward fold keep the knees soft here Inhale, half lift, exhale, forward fold, maybe placing the hands behind the calves or to the floor, bending through the knees, reaching up tall, bringing the palms together down to heart centre, drawing the shoulder blades down, tucking the pelvis under and just taking a moment of stillness here, inhaling and exhaling. As we inhale, reaching tall, we're going to exhale and we're going to interlace the hands behind us, rolling the shoulders back for a chest stretch, opening up for a small back bend if you wish to, before releasing, opening up through the back and the shoulders and the chest, sinking down to whatever feels comfortable. If you struggle getting your hands out, just drop the hands to the back and then release back up. Inhaling and exhaling, release the hands down to the floor taking the left hand over to the right ankle and reaching up for a side twist. Looking up towards the hand if you feel comfortable, otherwise just looking straight ahead. Releasing and then releasing over to the opposite side. So right hand to left ankle, opening the left arm up to the sky, finding that movement through the torso, exhaling, releasing the hands back down. From here, pressing into the knees and jumping back or stepping back, release into Chaturanga, inhaling into Cobra or Up Dog, exhaling into Down Dog. Bring the feet in a bit closer if that feels more comfortable for you, to so draw the bottom up a little bit higher. Sinking even deeper into those shoulders, bringing those triceps towards each other, spreading the palms out and just taking a few deep breaths here. Inhaling and exhaling before waving the body forward and opening out into side plank. Here we're going to step forward with the left foot as it's a nice morning practice, not going to challenge ourselves quite so heavily, but bringing in a half bind if you wish to. Bring that hand behind you, inhaling, opening up the shoulder towards the ceiling before reaching the arm over towards the top of your mat. And then we're gonna exhale, release the hand down and from here, switching sides, so just rotating onto the left side of the body, reaching the right arm up high, 
inhaling maybe bringing in that half bind again you don't need to do this but if that feels good for you please do inhale reach the arm up tall and bring it over to the top of the mat finding that side stretch and exhaling release back down into plank position exhale drawing down into your chaturanga and then from here release the feet down sink the body down extend into that nice belly shavasana really just giving yourself a moment to open up and breathe inhaling and exhaling this time returning we're going to draw the right leg up into 45 degrees turn over to the right left side and we're going to reach up squeezing up into our wild thing so a nice variation on getting to that wild thing posture. And then we're going to swing back over, drawing that same leg over and under into fallen angel, opening up the hips, drawing the arm back and releasing, gently bringing that leg back into down dog. If you need to wiggle those hips around, please do, before waving back out into plank, drawing the body all the way back down from that chaturanga, releasing the legs, and the same side. So going into the left foot now, coming over, pressing into that right arm, releasing the right arm back and over, pressing into that left arm now, opening the hips for that wild thing, before drawing the left leg under, reaching out for fallen angel. Inhale, exhale, release the hand down, release the feet behind, coming back into down dog. Inhaling, exhaling, wave the body forward into plank. Exhale, draw the body down, inhale into cobra or up dog. Exhale, coming into down dog. Releasing the feet back, deep inhale. Exhale, release the right leg up to the sky for three leg dog. Inhaling, maybe sinking a little bit deeper into the legs and into the back. Opening up the body, drawing that right knee back. And then sinking forward, bringing that right foot forward into our lizard. Release the back leg and then drawing the shoulders back, just using our arms here. So we're not going to sink too low this morning. And then from here, taking that left hand to the outside of the mat, opening up the body, drawing the right arm up to the ceiling. Again, bringing that half bind if you wish to. Exhale, draw the right hand back down, bringing the hand back into the mat, tucking the left toes in, stepping back, right leg keeping it raised, this time for Chaturanga, and then inhale to Cobra, exhaling into Down Dog. Beautiful. Inhale. Exhale, bringing the left foot in, drawing up into three leg dog, sinking that back down, tucking in the left foot, drawing it over, opening up the side body and the hips before drawing that left knee forward and to the outside of that hand and then taking the right hand and coming into our lizard, we're going to draw the right arm to the outside of your mat again. And we're going to reach up with the left hand, finding that nice opener into the hip joint. And maybe half bind if you have it. Inhaling. Exhaling. Release the left hand back down. Bring the right hand back in and step back. Left leg raised into Chaturanga. Release. And coming into Cobra or Up Dog before sinking all the way back down into Extended Child's Pose. Inhale. Exhale. Find that space into the fingertips, opening up into the back, squeezing the bum all the way back to the heels. Inhale. Exhale. This time walking the hands all the way over, just finding a nice side stretch here, opening up the side body, inhaling and exhaling. From here, returning to centre, just finding your neutral before coming over to the right side, really just sinking the body down. Inhale, and feeling that stretch into the side of the left body. Bring the hands back to centre. Inhaling, tucking the toes under, drawing the knees back in. And we're going to come back up 
and squeezing forward, jumping forward or stepping forward into Malasana. So in our yogic squats, keeping the chest lifted, nice deep inhale. Now you can either stay here or if you want to go for a bind, you're welcome to take that bind. So taking the right arm up to the outside, we're going to reach the left arm up nice and high. Drawing the left arm behind our back, reaching for the right hand, and we're just going to draw that left shoulder up to the sky, keeping the heels pressed into the floor, release back down. Coming back to Malasana and to that central pose. Inhale. Take the left hand to the outside of the mat, bring the right arm up, reaching the right arm round for that half bind, and then for full bind, grabbing and clasping those hands, lifting the right shoulder up for our full bind. Bring the hands all the way back round again, back into Malasana. Deep inhale, exhale, place the hands to the ground, bring the feet in nice and close together. Bending at the knees, we're going to bring the hands out into bear pose. So just holding, keeping everything strong, working the quads and creating some heat into these legs. Reach the right arm behind us and then return and to the left arm. From here, deep inhale, coming up towards chair pose, squeezing up gently all the way to the top of the ceiling. Bring the arms back into cactus. And from here, exhaling, drawing the arms tall for a small back bend. And then inhaling, coming back up, exhaling, hands to heart center. Deep inhale. Exhale, draw the shoulder blades down, tuck that pelvis under. Inhale. Exhale. From here, we're going to bring the right foot back, reaching into warrior one. Taking a nice deep inhale, opening up, exhaling into warrior two before reversing your warrior. So bringing that back, maybe looking up towards the hand, bringing the arms back before cartwheeling over into your modified side angle, keeping the head away from the shoulder, opening up that space, creating a half bind if you have it. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, reach the arm up tall. Exhaling into warrior two. And then from here, we're going to bring our body round into crescent pose. So nice high lunge here. We're gonna revolve our warrior and bring the left arm back, right arm forward. And reverse revolved warrior here. So bringing the arms up, bringing the left arm to the right leg before cartwheeling the arms over, stepping back, exhaling into chaturanga, inhale, up dog or cobra into our down dog. Nice deep inhale. Exhale, finding more length in the back, lifting the bottom up to the sky. And then for a little extra stretch, you don't have to do this. We're just going to come onto the back or the roof of the feet, leaning forward, finding some stretch in the back of the foot, maybe drawing the bum up for a deep stretch for the roof of the feet before working your way back to down dog. Of course, you can just stay in down dog otherwise. From here, taking a nice deep inhale, taking that right foot forward, we're going to reach up for warrior one again onto the opposite side. Exhale into warrior two, looking down the front arm, ensuring your arms are level before reaching back into reverse warrior. Looking up towards the hand, exhale into that modified side angle, keeping the head away from the shoulders, looking towards the hand, maybe drawing the hand back for half bind. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Draw the arm back up, reaching tall into warrior two, before bringing the arms up into our crescent pose and revolving our warrior. So drawing the right arm back, left hand comes forward, looking over the left arm, exhaling, bringing the right arm back to the left leg, drawing the left arm above us. Nice and strong, finding that focus and strength in the back leg before cartwheeling the hands over. Coming back into Chaturanga. Inhale, Cobra, up dog, into down dog. Exhale, really pressing those heels down into the mat. 
spreading the fingertips, finding the evenness of that weight through the legs and arms, coming into the toes and pressing up through those toes. So just finding some expanse and space into those feet, opening up through the arches of the feet here, drawing into the toes, just waking everything up, inhaling, now bending the knees, ready to jump or step to the front of the mat. Half lift, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift, bending through the knees onto toes, finding some balance. We're just gonna draw the body down to the bottom, slowly lower yourself down onto your back. From here, taking a deep inhale, we're gonna take the feet to the outside of the mat and we're gonna open up the lower back, drawing the left and right knees over to the left side. From here, I want you to draw the right knee in line with your hips. So you may need to use your hands just to adjust. And you're going to take the right arm above you. So everything's in alignment, your shoulders, your wrists, your hips. And for those who have hero or half hero pose, you can draw the foot in even closer for that half hero and bring the arm back. So a really nice opener for the hip flexor, so the front of those hips, but actually helping to release the lower back. Inhaling deeply into the hips and exhaling. Keep focusing on that breath, the opening of the area around the hips before releasing. Find your neutral position and then we're going to return to the other side. So we're going to switch the legs to the right hand side now. And from here, we're going to gently edge the knee in line with the hips bringing the left arm back. Ensure your bottom still remains on the ground, it's not lifting. And again, if you have that half hero, you can um, bring the foot up towards the bottom, a little bit tighter on this side, but um, we all have our tightnesses and a little bit more easy one side than the other, but just find what feels good and find that deep stretch and try to relax it. So inhale, and as you exhale, allow the hips to relax and Ease the body down into the mat. Inhaling and exhaling. Slowly release the hero pose or the foot to the side and bring the feet back to centre. Just find that little neutral position, give your hips a little wiggle before bringing the knees into the chest, giving yourself a little hug. Inhaling, exhaling. Just opening through those hips, we're going to gently do some circles here. Inhaling, exhaling, inhale, exhale, before going into shoulder stand. So remember you can start um, at the very base of those hips and slowly work your way down, further down the back to find that shoulder stand, that support. You can draw the elbows in closer underneath you whatever feels good for you. Just watch your chin. Imagine you have like a lemon or a lime under the chin to create space. And then for those who wish to, drawing the knees back for an extended shoulder stretch. So we're really bringing the knees down by the temples. If this is too much, stay in shoulder stand or just release your body down, bringing the legs all the way down to the floor. We're now going to come down into our happy baby pose. You can opt for bringing the arms to the inside of the feet or to the outside of the thighs, whatever feels good for you here. Deep inhale. Exhale, taking the toes, we're going to go for an extended happy baby here. So opening up into the hamstrings, drawing the feet out. Inhaling. Exhaling, releasing the back, releasing the tummy, releasing those glutes and hamstrings. Inhale, draw the feet together. Give yourself a little hug before releasing the right leg down. And now the left leg. Take a deep inhale. Bring the feet to the outside of your mat. Release the palms up to the sky. Release the shoulders. And now take Shavasana as we focus purely on the breath. Inhaling through the nose, exhaling out through the nose. Take a deep inhale, opening up the chest and the tummy, exhaling out through the nose, releasing any tightness, tension, 
or stress. Inhale. Exhale, feeling the hips soften, the knees relax, the ankles melt down into the mat. Exhale. As we inhale, we're going to draw those knees back in towards the chest, rolling the body over to the right hand side, taking a deep inhale. Exhale. Taking the left hand to the floor and in your own time, come up to seated. Inhaling and exhaling. Take the left foot to the inside of the hip if this feels good for you or just come into your normal seated position. Taking your hands to your knees and focusing back in on that breath. Inhale. Drawing the arms up and drawing the hands together as you draw that energy back down into the body. Exhaling, bowing down to your hands, thanking yourself for this practice today. Namaste.